Red Octopus. Yep, that might have been the octopus we saw underneath the wreck when we first approached. May have come out. Oh, you can come on in on video. This is the one that um, uh, Mike Vecchione commented on earlier. So it looks very similar, and uh, he provided a tentative ID there in the chat room. Do we want lasers on for a size estimate? That was uh, in the genus Muse Octopus. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, about 20 centimeters there across. Yeah, that was consistent with the size of the one we imaged earlier. Wonderful, thank you. All right, come on out. Bring my uh, belly one. Well, I'm glad he wasn't in our shot <laughs> for the mosaic king. <laughs> That'd be cool though. Um, are we ready to adjust some uh, lights? Yeah, go ahead. Under, uh, is that the one that was further out before? Or is that the one that was underneath already? We don't know. You can zoom in video. Yeah, it looks like he's going back into his original There's hiding two place. in there. Okay, so this is the one we saw crawling on the seafloor earlier. Yeah, the other one. See the other one in, oh, inside? Yeah. I don't know. It looks like there's two. Oh. And a squid. Mala's cabin. Let's get the lasers off. They do appear fighting. to be the same species. And yeah, thanks to Mike Vecchione, we have wow. a genus ID on him. So thanks, Mike. Battling it out for the spot there. Oh. Just pull the club in to hit the other guy over the head with it. <laughs> well, be honest, if you could have your uh, creature stop tearing apart the shipwreck, that would be great. <laughs> Copy that short side. Uh, we'll uh, do our best to communicate that to them. There he goes again. There goes another piece. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> this is, this is like a big movie. Yeah. He's breaking apart the, the wreck. Oh. oh. This is actually very interesting for archaeologists because oh. one of the things we're uh, interested in is. Uh, something we term as site formation process. Beautiful. 
what are the biological activities ongoing on the shipwreck? What are the physical activities taking yes, place that cause Jason. them to deform in the way they do? And, you know, how can we gauge and measure that over time? And so actually witnessing things like this is very helpful for us to be able to document um, okay, follow me, uh, the sort of impacts that go yeah. on unseen on the sea floor, you know, day to day. I'm moving toward Of course, you might not have guessed Dr. Puss's... Uh, Tearing apart the shipwreck uh, quite like that inadvertently, but certainly uh, they need to have a video of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my max tilt. Yeah, and I mean, there's a we image quite a few boring organisms there, and uh, you know, there's some speculations about a lot of those squat lobsters that might be that actually neat, huh? uh, consuming <laughs> <was> wood. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's why I'd post that question earlier. If there's anything uh, based in. on how much how much life you see on the wreck and the condition of the wreck, whether that gives you any kind of indications about its age. What is he doing? trying to disguise himself? Throw up a smoke screen. No, that's cool. a silk screen. Look at that. This guy is very active, isn't he? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> he's very, very smart. He, he's trying to hide. Yeah. Destroyed a ship and now he's getting out of here. That is very interesting. I've never seen that before. I sometimes feel like is that too. Behavior in response to the ROVs present? I don't know. I haven't seen something like this. He's just very upset that uh, he couldn't <laughs> take that hiding spot from the other octopus. What is he doing? So Dan, you said you haven't seen this kind of behavior from an octopus before? Yeah, that's right. I, I haven't seen it. Are octopus known to burrow, or is he just trying to create a smoke screen to disguise himself? So I point out that we have a little informal thing we like to call Octopus Friday in the uh, Office of Ocean Exploration Research. And uh, so they've been, through social media, being posting uh, images of octopuses we've, octopus we've seen uh, on Fridays. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to see uh, what we think are three different individuals today. They all look to be the same um, species, or at least genus, uh, but... Uh, uh, this is our, we believe it to be our third octopus of the day. So very exciting Octopus Friday for us here on the Okanus Explorer. I feel like we should let him go, but I'm also curious to see what he's going to do next. <laughs> Definitely. I wish we could see that other one. It looked bigger. Becky, I'm here. Hey, Mike, I was hoping you were going to call in. Uh, perfect, an octopus expert. I uh, I couldn't resist it, um, but I'm actually in a car. I'm waiting at, <laughs> at a bank in the line. But, uh, uh, that was a remarkable uh, okay, let's come out observation video. on that Muse octopus, which I, I'm pretty sure is Muse octopus Johnsoniana. Or do you want to hold um, and one kind of, of the a nice shot about that stirs up the is, bottom? It has what's called reverse counter shading. It's darker on the underside than it is on the upper side, which is backwards from most aquatic animals. But I, I've seen a lot of images and some videos of, of uh, that species before, and I've caught them and so on. I've never seen that kind of behavior uh, 
person saw agonistic behavior between two uh, two uh, individuals fighting, looked like they were fighting over a den site. And then I, I've never seen them swim before. And uh, finally, it, it uh, got out into the sediment, and, and it looked like it was burying itself. And at that point, out? I had to stop watching because I'm on my cell phone, man, so that I could call in and, and tell you how, there. how great that video was. Well, it, we, uh, we're continuing to uh, video that individual, and it is continuing to um, use its tentacles to sort of uh, dig into the sediment. And I'm not sure if it's it's burying itself or just trying to camouflage or, or, or what exactly, but it's it's continuing that behavior where it's sort of digging in the in the sediment, creating a bit of a, yeah, it a pit around looks itself. Looks like burying behavior, but I've never seen that in a deep sea octopus before. Mm. Although we've seen octopods that were partly buried, so only their head and eyes were uh, extending outward. But uh, it was a, that was a different species. You're going tighter. But again, that the behavior in that uh, observation was just remarkable. Well, I'm glad you got a chance to see that, and uh, we're even more glad you got a chance to call in and, and talk to us a little bit about it. To be honest, yeah. did we just lose the live broadcast. We're checking on that. Hello? We're checking on it right now. I'm going to hang up now. Uh, All right. Uh, to seeing the, uh, the videos of the octopod. Excellent. And can you, uh, again, repeat the, what you believe the species is? So, Muse octopus, and what was the species? Uh, Johnsonianus. Wonderful. Thank uh, you, Mike. It appears to be a widespread species, but it might be a species complex. Roger that. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to working on it some more. Wonderful. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Bye. Hey. No. Hey, Roland, I think we found your Kraken. Let's zoom out a bit video. There we go. You can lose the skids. Perfect. Thanks. All right. So, yeah, the, that for everyone, that was Mike Vickian with uh, NOAA's National Marine Fishery Service. Also uh, works for the National Museum of Natural History and the Vertebrate Zoology Department. Uh, uh, one expert on on, on these uh, on these mollusks. So yeah, thank you so much for providing that context and interpretation. And uh, yeah, really uh, bizarre behavior that I also had never seen before.